Hello. Good early Sunday morning. Uh, it's about one o'clock on Sunday morning, um, June 30th, last day of June. Can you believe it already? Where does time go? When you're having fun, I guess. It goes fast. Um, I just got back from the last night of the WFRN Friend Fest, which took place yesterday, well, Friday and Saturday um, at Amish Acres in Napanee, Indiana. It was a really great time. Um, I have a couple of concerts to review from tonight. Um, <clears throat> I saw tonight was like seriously the best night ever. I had such an amazing, amazing time. Um, tonight I saw Mandisa. I've never seen Mandisa before. She was great, and that's who this review is about. So I'll get back to that in a minute. Um, a little bit later, I'm going to review uh, 10th Avenue North, who I, I've seen them before, and they were great. Um, and uh, wrapping up the night then was Casting Crowns, and I've seen them before too, and they were um, better than the last time I saw them. So I have good things to say <laughs> all the way around. Um, you have to pardon me. I'm uh, tired. And it's been a long day, and I'm in my pajamas, but... I can't sleep so I thought I'd just go ahead and try to knock some of these um, reviews out of the out of the park before I try to go to bed um, I'm here in Elkhart again oh, I don't like Elkhart I lived in Elkhart for maybe two years and I swear I'd never come back and yet here I am <laughs> in Elkhart again so um, in room 222, which if you know me, you know that I, number two is like, I'm very, very superstitious about the number two. It's not my lucky number. So I think that's part of why I can't sleep too, is that I'm, I'm worried something disastrous is going to happen being in room 222. So actually, no, I'm not that worried, but um, I've got a big day tomorrow. I have to get me up early and on my way to Oak Park, Illinois for uh, a big day at the uh, Cheney Mansion. I'm going to be um, hosting a ladies luncheon and giving a speech and um, yay, excited about it. I'm a little bit nervous, so I always get a little nervous before these things, so can't sleep. So I'm just going to do my vlog. So anyway, that's enough about me. Um, let's talk about Mandisa. She was amazing. I, I know my sister really likes Mandisa. Um, my sister is a big American Idol fan, so I know she watched her when she was on American Idol. I, I don't, I don't know. I don't watch, I've never, honestly, I have never watched American Idol ever. I, for somebody that likes music as much as I do, I've just never gotten into to that show. I'm referring to my notes. If you see me looking down, that's what I'm doing. Um, I don't know. I never watched it. My problem with American Idol is I didn't like not like Simon. He's mean, and he just watching him be mean would make me cry <laughs> because I hate me. I hate people that are mean. I just didn't care for him at all. Um, that and Paula Abdul, she's just odd, just very odd. So, I you know just not was not the show for me to watch, and and now I don't watch it because I don't know. Just Steven Tyler, I have a funny Steven Tyler story. If you want to read a funny Steven Tyler story, you should go to my written blog because I do have a Steven Tyler story, which you should go check out at www.bestoffer.com on my blog. I do have a story over there that you can go check out. Um, but anyway, back to me and Lisa. I never watched American Idol. Um, so I really, other than the songs of hers that I've heard on the radio, I didn't really know a whole lot about her. Um, so, you know, I almost didn't even go that early because it was so hot again today and like, I'm not a, a heat person. I just am not. Um, but I thought, you know what, I'll go. I can tell my, then I can tell my sister I saw Mandisa, you know, a little bragging rights, you know. Um, my poor sister, she's stuck at home with her two kids and has her husband to take care of and 
you know, I get to live the life of Riley, you know, out traveling around and going to concerts and, you know, living it up on the weekend, living in a hotel. Um, but so I went and I was so glad I did. She was awesome. Um, she's, well, first of all, let me see, where's, I have a CD here. Okay. Actually, I have three CDs. I went and bought all of her CDs at her booth after because I, she's hand, hand down my new favorite female artist. I didn't really have one at all before tonight, and now I do. Here, this is her uh, current CD, What If We Were Real. And there she is. Isn't she beautiful? I think she's just like the most beautiful woman. Um, oh, and here's the back where she's smiling. She's really beautiful and she smiles. She's just gorgeous. Um, you know, gorgeous girl. Here she was, this is like right after she won American Idol. Just absolutely precious. Beautiful, beautiful. Um, see, I'm showing you all of her pictures. She has three CDs. Again, she's like just lovely. Um, she, uh, came out and she's just like living it up dancing and singing and oh my gosh can she sing wow she really really has an, an amazing voice um i'm trying to think what some of the songs were that she sang um she did sing stronger um she sang the good morning song and i you know i have not had not heard that song except for like on my way to the concert i heard it on the radio I didn't even know that was her singing it, and it's my favorite song now. I listened to it like 20 times on the way home. Pardon me while I get a drink. Um, I love it. It probably isn't going to make me be a morning person any more than I already was, but actually, you know, it's technically morning now, so since I was listening to it just a little bit ago, I guess it counts. Um, it's a great song. It has Toby Mac. I really like Toby Mac quite a bit. Um, you know, good song. Um, so yeah, the Good Morning song with Toby Mac and Mandy says, I'm like my favorite song at the moment. Um, she sang Voice of a Savior, I think. Uh, Shackles. Never Gonna Steal My Joy. I think she sang that and I really liked that one. I wasn't sure that I'd ever heard that before, but I liked it. She sang My Deliverer. Um, he's with you. Um, I think she sang dance, the dance, dance, dance song. Um, but yeah, she sang a lot. She could have sang all night because I liked it. <laughs> I thought she was wonderful. Um, I would highly recommend that you go and see Medisa if you get a chance. She was so amazing, so beautiful, just a lot of fun. Um, she spoke the truth about a lot of things. Um, you know, she's a very positive role model for, for, for young women and girls, um, which I am a very strong advocate for that. Um, she talked about, um, you know, how Jesus came to, uh, let me make sure I've got this right. Cause I heard a lot of people talk. Pardon me. I don't want to misquote her. Um, yes, I was right. Okay. That Jesus came to set the captive free and that we all have different things that we um, can be held captive by. And she was very honest about how she's had struggles with food issues in the past. Um, <laughs> she asked if there were funnel cakes for, <laughs> for sale at the fair. And oh gosh, that was funny. Um, I uh, I could relate to that. I um, have struggled with food problems in the past, and I've recently um, embarked on living a much healthier lifestyle after having my strokes um, in February. I did a lot of research and reading about why the things that happened to me happened, and that's why I've changed um, you know a lot of the way that I a lot of the foods that I eat. Um, I gave up caffeine, um, give up all pop. I do not drink. I used to drink pop. That's all I would drink was Coke. I was addicted to Coca-Cola and I don't drink really anything except for iced tea and 
really, I don't even drink that very much. Um, I only drink water, really, is all I drink. Um, but just giving up a lot of the, you know, foods that aren't good for you and stuff. So really come a long way with that. So it was really um, inspiring to hear her talk about that, that, you know, that there just are different things that can put, put hooks into you keep you from living the life that you're meant to live with Christ and you know it's, she's speaking the truth and that's what I like you know to hear um, and she's just in telling her story she wasn't trying to tell someone else's story she's being very genuine and talking about weight issues and food issues is not always the most socially acceptable thing to talk about so I really admired her courage and talking about that. Um, I really thought that was awesome that she, um, you know, she did that. That was cool. She talked about too how um, when she was on American Idol, um, you know, how something Simon had said something to her face, but then on the camera he had made some nasty remarks and it had really hurt her feelings. And when she'd seen it on TV, you know, it really had hurt her. But then she extended forgiveness to him. And, you know, that she really learned a lot from that experience. And I thought that was a pretty cool story to, to share as well. Um, let me see if I have anything else that I have here. Um, I uh, really like, there was one part where she talked about how um, a lot of, messages and not messages I'm not sure if she used the the term Satan but basically that's who it is especially with well she talked about men too but to the young women and just women in general that we're not good enough we're not smart enough we're not pretty enough um, those kinds of things come at us all the time um, you know, and put, put us down and bring us down and make us not feel good about ourselves. And it's the same thing with men, too, that, you know, you're not good enough at your job. You're not manly enough. You're not, you know, there's different things. I'm not sure exactly, you know, the male perspective on that is. But I know that men have similar experiences. And um, she said the truth of it is um, we are good enough. We are beautiful to, to God. You know, he died on the cross for us. And, um, you know, again, she was speaking the truth. And there's a truth, I think, that needs to be shouted from the mountaintops. Um, it was really, really, it just really was great. I really um, enjoyed listening to her talk. Um, she talked about, oops, I thought I erased my notes, that's not good. Um, she, from that point, she went on to talk about the different, um, weapons that they talk about, it, they, that are in the Bible that we can use to kind of protect ourselves from those kinds of messages, um, and all that good stuff, and that the, you know, there are a lot of the defensive weapons, um, but the primary offensive weapon that we have is the, the Word of God. And most of all, we, um, you know, our joy does not come from the world. It comes from God. And because of that, because it doesn't come from the world, the world can't take it away from us. Um, that is very very encouraging to think about it from that, you know, perspective. Um, you know, if we truly get our joy from the Lord, then nobody can take that from us. And that's just awesome. Um, I really am going to think about that. <laughs> In fact, after Mandisa played, if 10th Avenue North hadn't been about to come out on stage, I think I might have left because I had so many things in my mind that I um, wanted to write about. She just really inspired me in a lot of ways of, of things that I 
I was thinking about that I really wanted to write, um, which is funny because this morning I sat for like, I don't know, an hour trying to write something and I came up with two paragraphs about uh, snow. <laughs> it was just dumb. Uh, you know, I mean, it wasn't that bad, but it was like two paragraphs. Normally I could write a novel in an hour and, you know, I was just not feeling it. Um, so I was feeling very inspired after Mandy's concert today. Um, but I ended up, I was really glad I stayed for 10th Avenue North too, but more on that later. Um, so that was my review of Mandisa. She, like I said, she's a beautiful, beautiful, I hear knocking, I hope they're knocking on my door, I'm not answering it. Um, <laughs> beautiful girl, beautiful voice. She's a wonderful dancer. You know, I will be very honest. I do not dance in public. I just don't. Um, I'm, I, I don't. I took five years of dance lessons when I was a little girl. My mom made me do it. It was the worst five years of my life, especially when I had to go to the recitals. Um, torture. I am not a dance, a dancing person in public. At home, that's another thing. In the car, that's another thing. In public, it's not going to happen. And I actually, tonight, I did a dance for Mandisa because I was so moved. Um, actually, I danced at 10th Avenue North, too. Uh, just because I was just having a great time. But don't tell anybody, okay? Don't tell anybody. And I hope, I hope, I hope that nobody has any of the tabs on video um, because I will die. <laughs> Of embarrassment if it ends up on YouTube or anything. That's a scary thought. Um, so, yeah, so I did dance. That's how much fun I was having. Um, yeah, so Mandisa had me dancing. That's that's impressive. So if anything else, that should tell you that you should go to a Mandisa concert. Um, she has great dance moves. I, I'm sure she probably took dance lessons when she was a little girl, and she probably enjoyed it. She, her mother probably did not have to make her <laughs> take dance lessons. Um, but anyway, I'm going to wrap this up. Uh, it's getting late. She does have CDs. This is her newest one, Mandisa, What If We Were Real. I really like the, the name of the CD. Um, Definitely go get it. My sister has this one and she loves it. Um, I listened to it on my way home, home, back from wherever I just came from, Napanee or wherever. Yeah, Napanee, and it's really good. Really, really good. Um, she also has the other two CDs, uh, Freedom and doo -doo -doo -doo, True Beauty, which she definitely has. And I know she's on Twitter because she mentioned it, the concert that she overshares. <laughs> so definitely check that out. I'm sure uh, <laughs> it sounds like she's a lot of fun on Twitter. Um, I would imagine you could find her by typing in Mandisa, M-A-N-D-I-S-A. -S she's probably on Facebook as well. Um, and I'm sure she has a website. So, you know, go forth and find her there. Um, as for me, I also have a website. You can find me at www.bethstoffer.com. I have a blog over there and um, other good stuff. If you're interested in having me come and speak at you or your group, I'd be more than happy to do that. Um, also, uh, you can email me if you feel like emailing me <laughs> if you're bored. Um, you know, you can email me at beth at bethstoffer.com. Um, you can also follow my adventures in 140 characters or less on Twitter. Um, <clears throat> I am Pumpkin Patch PG on Twitter. And also you can uh, check me out on Pinterest where I follow, where I follow, where I hang out as Beth Stoffer. <laughs> um, so that's it for my review of Mandisa. Stay tuned. Next up, I'm going to talk about 10th Avenue North 
and a very exciting story to tell you about um, that. Um, the most like exciting thing ever happened and my friend Sarah when she sees this, this well when she sees that review she's gonna die <laughs> it is going to blow my Steven Tyler story out of the water it was so much better than that so come back to check out that review in a little bit all right have a good night